Simon from SimonWater.com. Uh, I've got a bottle of Beaujolais here. Uh, it's Le Cru du Volcan, uh, the Volcano Crew, uh, from uh, Brewery. Um, so uh, 2016 vintage. Uh, let's give it a whirl. It's got that classic Beaujolais um, ripe, uh, slightly squishy red berry. Uh, sometimes it's raspberry. Here it's more on that strawberry character. And... Uh, there's what I call a pippy character. If you get uh, uh, certain jams, uh, particularly raspberry jam, you get, the, you get those seeds, some of the ones that get stuck in the, uh, the cavities in your teeth. And uh, if you squidge them a little bit, you get a little bit of um, uh, extra character out of them and probably a little bit of tannin. It feels like you, it's got that slight pippy jammy berry edge. It's quite fresh. as uh, this red berry flesh and then there's this sappy finish. Um, feels almost like, I mean, it's come out of a reasonably cool cellar, and at that temperature, it's rather attractive, I think, as it warms up. Um, some people prefer it, and some people think, well, I actually like to do that younger, fresher, more vibrant, uh, well, not younger temperature, but uh, cooler, fresher, more vibrant uh, temperature. Um, it's not great, Beaujolais. Uh, maybe it, 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 what, what, it's, uh, what it's maybe lacking is um, it's good when, good when you first put it in your mouth, but not, there's not all that much substance behind that initial... Um, impression of fruit so good rather than great but it's not a silly price and uh, good everyday weekday sausage friendly wine uh, I rather like the idea of having some sausage with, with that maybe I will see if I can find some in the fridge see you soon